Give us a couple of minutes here because <laughs> Brian Carwell from the Aztec basketball team, Mr. Black and Red is, is back on. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Black and Red is, Black and Red is, Black and Red is. Was the best game of his uh, career the other night? He did have his best game. 15. Big man. 15 points. Brian Carwell is on the Scott and BR show. Hey, BC, spend a couple minutes with us. How are you, big man? I'm good. How are you guys doing this morning? We're doing really great. Nice. We're, we're still talking about that, that BYU loss to to uh, New Mexico. Uh, what uh, do you guys think when you watch that? Oh, man. Uh, I, I, I don't want to tell you what I think, but uh, <laughs> it basically uh, means uh, you know we can, uh, we can get some of that conference championship now. That's exactly right. Well, I don't really understand. I don't know. Maybe Coach Fisher said something. I don't know. But if you guys are both tied, do they win a tiebreaker? Well, no, I think I'm not sure about this, so don't don't 100 percent quote me. But I think the way it works is uh, we share the regular season um, conference championship, uh, but they just um, receive the number one seed in the Mountain West tournament. I think that's all that means. Hey, listen, if you finish with the same exact record, I mean, that, that's what I didn't know because Steve Kerr mentioned it to us earlier that he thought that the uh, that the tie break went over to BYU. BYU. But you know what, Brian? It doesn't really matter because you know it comes down to Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, must win game against Colorado State. Oh yeah, definitely. It's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be an amazing atmosphere. It's a uh, senior night. Um, you got you know potentially five seniors uh, that are, that are leaving. Um, so it's uh it's, it's gonna be a pretty pretty amazing night. Um, you know everybody knows how how well Colorado State played us last time we went to that place. Um, so you know we know we we know they're gonna bring the energy. They they're still trying to um, trying to make their bid for the for tournaments and things like that. So. Um, it's going to be a great game. And as far as being a senior and leaving, what what is your official status right now? Uh, as far as leaving? Yeah, yeah, senior, junior, leaving, staying. Well, because we asked Coach Fisher if you would be introduced as one of the seniors, and he said, of course, because even though there's the possibility of a sixth year of eligibility, it's not a guarantee. So you'll be introduced as part of senior night on Saturday night. But might you or are you investigating coming back for a sixth year? Um, well, well, right now um, I, I really haven't put much focus into that just because uh, you know, like I said, I was trying to uh, stay focused on the season and, and the task at hand. And um, I know that once once the season was over, we were gonna you know pursue it more because uh, we we first at least need to know if I'll even be uh, able to get it before we start talking about if I'm going to stay or leave. So we need to know first if I can get it. So we're going to pursue that, but uh, we're going to wait till after the season is over to, Good plan. to start working with that. Good if, plan. But let me just ask you this. If, you, if somebody said to you today, you can go back and play one more year, would you want to do it? Uh, I, I'm not sure at this point. You know, uh, I, I, it it's definitely something I would have to, to, to put a, a serious – thought and consideration too, um, something that has to be talked about between me and the coaches and of course me and my parents to, to try to see, you know, what uh what what's the best fit for me. So I definitely will have to think about it. Well I mean let me ask you another thing related to next year and I and, and I know we're we're really still there's a huge game and a huge conference tournament in the NCAA tournament, but um do you have do you have other things that you plan on doing next year? I mean, whether it's trying to make it into the NBA, maybe playing professionally somewhere else? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely have uh, aspirations to to play professionally, whether it is NBA or or overseas. And and uh, you know, God willing, something something good is gonna come my way as long as I keep putting in the work. So, um, like I said, I'm just I'm just excited about the possibilities. Is you know whether that is to play here next year or to be able to play somewhere for. So uh, you know, I'm just just keeping my head high and and just uh just thinking about the. Would you be able to to handle juggling the professional basketball with the professional uh, rapper kind of <laughs> singer thing that you got going? I mean, would you be able to handle both? Uh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I definitely be the. I definitely would try to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is uh, exciting times, BC. And I'll tell you what, Saturday night is going to be crazy because you know guys like yourself and Billy and Malcolm, you guys all started somewhere else and then came in. But we've watched DJ Gay from, you know, 17 or 18-year-old freshman to now, you know, senior, and we've seen this program build throughout his four years. So it's going to be just such an exciting night on Saturday. Oh, yeah, I can, I can only imagine, you know, how special it's going to be for DJ and Billy, um, you know, to start their careers here. And, um, you know, they, they're, 
they're going to be able to look at some fans and, and graduate with them. Like, hey, you were coming the same time I was coming, right. and we stay here together. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, a pretty memorable night for them, uh, one that they've been looking forward to. Um, and hopefully we can just go out there and uh, and do our best to make it the best night possible. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a great night. Hey, BC, thanks for a couple minutes. Get back to class. Yeah, thanks, BC. Hey, no class today. Only class on Tuesday. I'm graduating. Ah, you're always classy. <laughs> See you later, dude.